Inside this space-age-looking contraption, lead is being turned into a very poisonous but very important battery component. 2,000-pound pure lead ingots are melted, stirred, and atomized into small droplets that are then combined with oxygen to form the highly reactive compound lead oxide. In this line of work, respirators must be worn to keep from breathing any of the tiny toxic oxide particles that can damage the functions of virtually every organ in the body. Just swirl around in there. When it hits a certain spot in there, it reacts. And that's what makes the oxide. It looks like real fine ground up dirt. Lead can be melted easily, shaped and cooled quickly without fracturing. This makes it perfect for the grids that go inside a battery. Once charged, a lead-acid battery stores the energy in a chemical form that can be released on demand as electricity. A car's 12-volt battery is composed of six 2-volt cells. Each cell contains a positively charged plate or electrode made from lead and a negatively charged one. Both are submerged in an electrolyte solution of sulfuric acid and water. Starting the ignition causes the acid to react with the lead, creating an electrochemical reaction that produces a current that generates the power to start your car. Anywhere from 90 to 100 grids must fit flawlessly inside a battery. Remember the lead oxide powder? It's now made into a paste and pressed into the holes of the grids. This forms the battery plate. Inside the flash dryer, a percentage of moisture is removed from the plates with super hot air. Robots then take over stacking the finished plates. And it's a good thing, because the lead makes the plates heavy. A pallet of plates weighs over 5,000 pounds each. Finally, the batteries are off on a conveyor belt to be filled with acid and charged. Each one containing close to 20 pounds of lead.